So next up we will be installing the brake pedals uh, with the master cylinders for pilot and co-pilot side. Okay guys, firstly, uh, this aircraft was brought to me built. So I have to improvise. The brake system is not installed, so I'm going to have to change around a little bit. Some of you guys might follow the same sequence uh, that I've done here now, so this might help you as well. I would recommend that you install the brake pedals and master cylinders outside, dry fit them, make sure they fit and all the tabs are lined up and so on before you install the rudder pedals into the aircraft. At the moment, the rudder pedals are installed in this aircraft, so I have to uh, compromise a little bit, and I'll show you guys uh, how to do this, so it is very possible. This, uh, these tips will also be handy when you want to install co-pilot brakes. So let's say you have an aircraft that's already flying with, uh, obviously, pilot brakes, and now you decide you want to make a trainer out of it. This will help you to install that second set of brake pedals. So there's a couple of tricks. The first one is to drill two holes on top of each of the rudder pedals on the tube. These holes will be used uh, for two things. The first one is to hold the nylon bush, which I will show you now. This little nylon bush has to be installed into that hole and you need to hold this in place while you are tightening the, uh, the, the bolt. So I'm going to use a pin for that. I made my own pin from a punch. And I'm going to push this through the hole and just hold the nylon in place while I'm tightening the screw. So this is one little trick. The second function of that hole will be to lubricate the, the nylon bushes over time. So dual function. We're going to start off by drilling the holes. You can drill them 2 millimeter or 3.2 millimeter. The size actually doesn't matter. Uh, 3.2 is something you'll be using all over the aeroplane, so just drill them 3.2 millimeter. Um, you're going to drill the hole approximately halfway um, the size of the bush, so it will be about 10 millimeter from the side of the rudder uh, pedal. Uh, drill the hole straight on top. So that's the first thing. The second thing is uh, because this is an older kit, the master cylinders have changed from the Matco M4A, I think, to the M4E. So the holes are not exactly the same size and also the tabs onto which the master cylinder will fit needs a little bit of work. You need to round or um, file the top of the tab a little bit down in order for the holes to line up because the tab will sit a little bit high and the hole a little bit too low. So this is now for the older kits with a new brake system. The new kits will all come with the correct uh, tabs welded on and, and so you don't have to do any work there. Um, the other thing that you're going to need to do, the holes for the clevises and this side is not 6 millimeter. So you're going to have to drill these holes out to 6 millimeter. Just be very careful, just take your time, drill it nicely because there's not a lot of meat that gets left over here. Don't worry, the force is all on the downside, nothing will happen with your master cylinders. We have thousands of hours on these. Um, so yeah, that's about it for now. We'll move on to the installation. Okay, so I'm just locking the pedals in place again so it's easier to drill. Okay, so the nylon bush has got a, a nylon lock nut inserted on the inside. Okay, so on the pilot side, I've already started this uh, process. I've drilled the holes on top, and I'm going to use this sharp pin 
to hold the bush in place while I'm tightening the nut like on this side. Now what I've done is I've just used some cable ties to hold the rudder pedal in place. Otherwise the pedals will be falling forward. Now this process is much better done before you install the rudder pedals because cleaning of the bushes and the dry fitment of your pedals will be easier outside of the aeroplane. So while I'm tightening the, the screw, I'm just pushing this in into the uh, nylon bush and it's holding it tight while I'm busy tightening on this side. This concludes the installation of the brake master cylinders and brake pedals onto the rudder pedals. You will see in this video I did not cover every single bolt and nut. Those are covered in the installation manual. So please do go read that together with this video. Next up we will be doing the hydraulic lines running from the calipers up to the master cylinders. I'll also uh, give you guys a little diagram for the installation of the dual brake system for pilot and co-pilot side. And we'll also do the plumbing from the master cylinders up to the brake reservoir. So if you guys like our videos, please do like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.